Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another super fast lesson today, my friends. We're going to make a wicked cool spider, so let's get cracking. Of course, the first step is to click Create New Design. Once you're in, friends, we need to rename it. We're going to name this Spider, and I'm going to put MDH after mine. You should put your initials after yours. Before we make the spider, I want to make a wicked cool fence. When you bring out a cube, I want you to click on that fence, and I want you to make it five wide, and I want you to make it two deep. So it looks kind of like a fence post. Click on it again and change that height to 35. Let's fit view so we can see it closely. Put the work plane on the top of it, and bring out a roof. Now remember our measurements. We know that this has to be five. We know that this has to be two. Let's do the fit view so we can see that top. It is too tall. It looks a little goofy. Let's make it size 5. And then let's view everything. You can see they are not together. We are going to select them. We are going to click align. I'm going to fit view to the alignment. Make the red one the master. And choose center. And choose center. When you've got those like that and they look lined up perfect, let's set them to the color white and group them. Click the work plane tool and click the blue edge to set it back down. And let's see if we can nudge this so it looks like it's on a corner. This just makes the next part a little more clear. Click on the grid and snap it to 5 so our snap grid has been adjusted. Click on your part and do duplicate. Click the arrow key twice, make sure you don't touch anything else and then click duplicate again and again and again. Let's take our parts of our fence and group them and now let's add the piece that goes across. Bring out a rectangle. This is 10, 20, 30, 45 millimeters across. So type 45. We also know that we want to make it two millimeters thick because that's how thick each rail was and I'm going to tell you a smart number is five. We can select it all and do a line, click on the fence, choose middle and middle. I want to tweak the height of this, so I'm going to switch to my one millimeter grid. And you could use the cone to pick a custom spot. You can also hold control and tap the up and down arrow. I want, I want mine to be right here. I'm going to set it to white and I'm going to group my entire fence. I'm going to move my fence to another location for later, and let's build the awesome spider. We're going to make the spider's body with a sphere. Hold down shift, stretch it till it says something close to 30, and I'm going to tell you a good size to pick is 35. But then I'm going to tell you to squish it so it looks like a spider's belly. I'm also going to make it black, because that's the color I want my spider to be. I have got a super fun way to make spider legs. Go to Featured and find the bent pipe. When you bring the bent pipe out, we need to change some numbers. I'm going to tell you the width we want is 5. You can leave the wall thickness 3. The diameter 30 is really good because of how big our spider was. If you want to make it 40, you can do that as well. The bend angle needs to be 180. Notice this will start to look like a spider's leg. I'm going to tell you the lead-in length. I want to be 5 and 5. Notice you have to click the box, press Enter, and then wait for it to show up. We need to stand our little spider leg up, and I'm going to make it a cool color. I'm going to do a gray color first, then I'm going to look at it from the corner, and we want to rotate it here. I am just going to type the 90 and press Enter so that it stands up, so that it's on the correct part of the work plane, I'm going to hit D to drop. I'm going to take that spider leg and I'm going to hit duplicate. I am going to hit the rotate and I'm going to do 22 and a half, then 45 degrees. And this is what is so cool. If you hit control D or duplicate again and again, your spider's legs will be created. I love to select all of these and group them. So they are now one cool part. And once they finish grouping, I'm going to squish them down so they look the right size for me. I'm going to grab the two shapes, click a line, 
choose the spider's body and I'm going to say center so I can see it better. I'm going to look from a corner and I'm going to do center. And then if we click on the body, notice I did not get the gray. I got the black and put our spider's body in place. If you want to make a custom spider, you can do control D on that and move him out so that he has two parts. Do a little shift squeeze so the second part is smaller. And then you can go to the awesome characters place and add the sweet little eyes that are built in. I'm going to bring an eye out, lift it up, look at it from a corner, and then I like to use the arrow keys to nudge them into place. The nice thing about having one in place is I can do shift click, choose a line, make the good one the master, and instantly put them at the same height and centered. Make sure they are attached. It doesn't work if they aren't. And you can see I have almost instantly built a cute little spider. If you want a spider with happy eyes, watch this. It is so easy. Go to your basic shapes, bring out a sphere, shrink it a little bit, and then type the number six. Make that one white, fit view, duplicate it, nudge it out a click, hold down shift, and shrink it until and then type the number three. Make that second one black, and then nudge it out with your arrow keys and do control up to put it in place. And you've all of a sudden got a cute little happy eye that you can group, turn on multicolor, and put in place on your awesome little spider as well. I'm gonna give my spider eyes in the back of himself. So I'm gonna just pull that into place Use the adorable little cone, bust out the flip tool, which you can see better from an angle, especially since mine is black. So now the eye is pointing out the back of them, nudging into place with my arrow keys. And when I've got the eye in place, I'm just going to do control D and use the other arrow keys to move them around. So now my spider can see in both directions. I'm going to add a cool little scribble marking on my spider just because it's fun. I'm going to give him a little spider logo type thing. You can have fun with this, making whatever you want on your spider. <laughs> My logo is not very good, but watch this. When we're done, I can squish it down really skinny, make it a cool color, and then move it in place on my spider so it shows up on the back. You can lift it with a cone, or you can use control up to lift it into place. If you accidentally move something, don't forget you've got the undo. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to get that centered. Zoom in on it, look at it from an angle. Notice it was floating, so I'm gonna stretch it a little thicker and use the cone to push it in. I'm also gonna give it a little bit of rotation just cause it looks cool. And then I'm gonna grab those two pieces Notice it says three shapes. Oh, that's why. It's because there's two there. So one, two, three by holding shift click. I'm going to group them so that they stay together. But I do want to keep the awesome multicolor. Real quickly, I'm going to turn my snap grid back to five. And by doing control D, I'm going to just nudge with the arrow keys my fence and make it so that I've got a sweet little place for the spider to live. I don't want him to be out and about. Notice this time I'm going to grab two at once, do control D. I'm going to nudge them back there. And then I'm going to do control D. Notice it kept the measurements. I don't mind that. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees, nudge it into place. And customize my cool little spider pen. If I select these two, notice it says two shapes. Control D, we can almost instantly push that across, and we have got our little safe place for the spider to play.
friends, there is so much room for you to play, explore, and have fun as you learn the basics of Tinkercad and make a sweet little spider and all his cool friends. Of course, friends, if you make something awesome, don't forget you can hit the send to button. You can generate a link that you can share with me. You can post that to Instagram, Facebook, or send it to me at Gmail. You can also click on my website, hlmodtech.com, and send a share link as a message. You can also instantly save pictures of your designs that you can share with your friends. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.